Hi, it's Luan from Google Tech, and this is my tiny game controller testing on RetroPie. This is part of my game handheld project. There's already some ideas on internet for you to start with, but I should love to have my own version. So I add some modification. Um, I wanted to make it as simple and cheap as possible. So I simplify most of the components, just keep only the essential one. And most of the components were bought from the AliExpress site, which is very cheap. Let's start with this game path. As you can see, the tutorial on Adafruit, they use one of the SNES controller or their own PCP. The cost is not so expensive, but the shipping um, is much more than the price of the component. And it does not make sense to me. Besides, um, I want to customize it for my project, so I make this myself using this component um, you're gonna need the uh, this is the kind of prototype board that only make and set it online um, on AliExpress then you need the 90 angle 90 degree header then you also need this 8 millimeter button um, this one is very soft on here you can get 30 of this for like two dollars. I also use this kind of Y button, but just uh, I just want to try to see the difference of it. So you can always use the same this, this button for this one, and you will need a lot of uh, chamber wires. Of course, I can use the normal wire to connect all of the pin together, but I just want it to look nice. So I use chamber wire. For each of the button, you will need to connect one side of it to the GPIO of the Raspberry Pi Zero and the other side to draw. In this case, um, I use freezing. Freezing is not to make the PCP because desire PCP and wait for it to be done take a lot of time and money. Um, I just use freezing to help me organize my chamber wire better before actually soldering them. Um, as you can see here, you can add all the components from the core library. I had to modify the button for the 6mm button. Um, it will be another video about freezing, but you can use the same push button. Then you can wire it your way, and it is very easy to modify when something's wrong. I put more the jumper wire from the bottom and for the red color and some on the top, the blue one. You can play until you're happy with it. After that, we can solder all of the components based on what we have here. Don't forget to check for the connections and short circuit. Using freezing this way, we save us a lot of time and the circuit board is very well organized. This is my idea of making circuit board. I hope it will be very useful for you too. If you like this video and want to follow my project, please subscribe to this channel and we can see you in the next one. Happy making!